Howdy folks, welcome to the farm. Let's go! Hey, Scott here, Scotty's Animals. I'm really excited to share uh, the making of the Guinea Boars music video, Guinea Pigs Sing, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. It was a long time in the making, and I was able to keep it a secret, which I'm proud of in itself, but now I really want to share uh, the behind the scenes, how uh, this all came to be. So um, there's a lot that went into this video, maybe more than meets the eye, so I want to get into some of the technical aspects of it, as well as um, the idea behind it, the inception, and, and, and kind of how it all came together. So. Um, the first thing was, uh, way back, well over six months ago, I was thinking about, I wanted to do a uh, music video, I wanted to do some kind of guinea pig rock band. I thought that that would be cute, that would be fun, um, and it would allow me to kind of maybe expand what the videos are about and reach out to uh, new viewers, especially if... Um, we did a rock and roll version of a kid's song. So I brainstormed all the different kid's songs that you know I knew and loved when I was a kid, and um, at the top of the list was Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And then I started thinking, oh my gosh, well, Old MacDonald Had a Farm, on the farm are guinea pigs. So then I realized there's a week week here and a week week there, a week week everywhere, and I was, uh, I was like, that's it. How do I make this happen? So um, I started thinking about, you know, how can I actually make this happen? And I had the idea of, um, well, they're on a stage. And so I started thinking about all the videos, you know, that I loved as a kid. And one of those videos that uh, stood out for me was um, Motley Crue's Wild Side. Uh, there's an energy to that video, there's sort of a, a craziness, um, and there's a live audience. I went back and I looked at a bunch of different music videos, but there's something about that video. Um, and when Tommy Lee, uh, when his drum set turns upside down and he's still playing as a kid, I just, I lost my mind. I was like, wow, that is rock and roll. Um, so that's always been in the back of my mind as kind of this amazing example. And I wanted to capture the spirit of that video um, with this. So uh, I had my inspiration and I had my song and I had to figure out how, musically how was I going to do it. Um, I wanted to keep the melody of Old MacDonald Had a Farm, but I wanted to somehow incorporate um, the music of Wild Side. So I actually went about learning uh, Wild Side, learning the guitar part and listening to that and and, and learning the drum part. Um, and once I had that, um, I figured out how to, uh, well, first I recorded the drum track uh, that was essentially um, my best attempt at, at the Wild Side drum line. And then um, I recorded uh, a drum track, I figured out the song, and recorded, recorded a guitar track um, that was identical to the Motley Crue version. Uh, just to figure it out. And then I uh, also learned Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Um, once I, I had Old MacDonald Had a Farm and I, and I had that song down, I sort of figured how can I take uh, the Wild Side song and convert it. Um, but luckily it was just a matter, I think they're both in G. I, I just converted um, the Wild Side from minor to a major scale and then just kind of I just had to slide it up like one note, the, the main riff. So it wasn't that hard. Uh oh, there's a lettuce riot about to break out. Um, so once I sort of wrapped my head around how to record the song musically, I recorded uh, the guitar part uh, with the major scale uh, and the whole McDonald melody. I recorded a bass line to go with it, and um, then I had that. Uh, as a basic scratch track uh, for which to uh, shoot a whole bunch of shots with the guinea pigs and the drums and the guitar. 
guitar and help create the whole stage. Um, so, and I'll get into the visual effects in a second. After I, I had a, the basic cut of the visual effects down, then I recorded all the vocals so that I could make sure that the lips were lining up with the, the voices. Um, and then I put it all together. I went and I shot my cowboy part and I shot some of the animals at the uh, guinea pig rescue. And um, I put it all together and uh, that was, I edited the, the final video. So, but obviously the meat and potatoes of this entire video is the effects. How did, how did we do this? How did I do all the uh, visual effects? So let's, let's get into that. So the way I was able to accomplish uh, the guinea pig singing portion of the music video, the visual effects portion, uh, is by utilizing a 3D environment um, and taking all the different assets uh, whether it's the guinea pigs and the smoke elements and the stage elements, all these different elements, and arranging them in a 3D environment uh, with a 3D camera and rendering all that out as one seamless whole. So that's the art of compositing. The guinea pigs are shot in front of a blue screen. Timmy, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, Mikey. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. E-I-E-I-O. Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. <gasps> this is great, Billy. You did amazing. They are arranged on cards in three-dimensional space. The blue is removed and the characters are integrated into the scene. Um, there is smoke and lights and various elements. The guinea pigs are composited against a background of a hidey house and a stage and these elements um, are photographic elements and elements that are 3D objects in a 3D scene. So the first thing that I had to do to build the 3D scene was actually shoot the green screen plate of the drums. So I found a miniature drum set and put it on an actual stage with green fabric. I put little markers down and I shot this drum set from a bunch of different angles. Then I went and I selected my favorite shots, my favorite angles. I selected 17 different shots and those shots were tracked. Those shots were tracked using 3D camera tracking software and 3D cameras were created from that process. So you have the tracking information, you have a three-dimensional camera, and you have points in a 3D world which represent uh, the tracking markers and various objects in the scene. So with all that information, you can build a three-dimensional set. So what you will see in these series of shots is the three-dimensional set and the various layers, uh, and then you'll see a breakdown so here you can see all the different layers as they go toward building the final shot. Because the drums are so reflective, I needed to rotoscope every frame of the drums because I couldn't pull a high quality enough key. Rotoscoping involves using bezier shapes to create outlines which can be used to generate a mat. And the mat, as you can see here, is used to separate the object that you want to include from its background. Here you can see the mat being used to separate the drums from the green screen and then being integrated into the final shot. Here you can see the color correction here you can see the drums being laid over top of the three-dimensional scene. 
Okay, now let's have some fun. These are the visual effects breakdowns. Uh, so this is the opening shot. We're looking out on the farm and concert's about to start. You can see uh, we're in the 3D environment. We've got different trees on cards. Uh, there's a background. The cards are separated in 3D space. There's a ground plane and a background that is being projected on. Uh, we're creating parallax, so when the camera moves, uh, things move at a different rate, and it looks more realistic that way. Um, so we're going to take a look here at the buildup of uh, this shot right here. Howdy, folks. So this Welcome is a day for night morning. shot. Um, there's BB. I added him, and the moon color corrected it to make it look like it was evening time. Welcome to the farm. And this is the first shot. Let's go. First shot of the first shot of the video. See the green screen, all the layers building up, the crowd, environment, haze, lights, everything. And this is the finished shot. Let's go. Now let's take a look at the last shot. The fire crowd this is the green screen shot this is what the tracking camera tracking information was gathered from here we're going to have a window we're going to have a green screen layer over top Shot of the video. Thank you for watching this behind the scenes video. Uh, I really appreciate your interest in Scotty's animals and uh, in this whole process. Uh, this was a blast to make for everybody, and I just want to say thank you again for everybody who's come and spent some time on my channel. Please share some of my informational videos and let's improve the lives of the animals in need and uh, help those that do so much uh, for those animals. So thank you very much.